What's going on everybody? Hope everybody out there is practicing their social distancing. We certainly are. There's a man over there behind me somewhere. We are looking for elk kids far away from people. So as long as the elk don't carry this coronavirus stuff. So we're going to be pretty safe, at least for the weekend anyhow. Hopefully we'll pick up some antlers for you guys. See if we do. On the board, elk sheds, 2020, <laughs> end of the day, we're literally going pretty much back to the truck. We're coming up through this cut here. I just happened to look over this way and I'm like, man, that sure looks like a shed. Throw binoculars on it. Sure enough, it's an elk shed. Let's get it here. Where is he at? There he is. Boom. Amanda's over there looking at it. She's standing there messing around. Hiding behind the bushes here. She's got the match. Hey, pick that up. <laughs> what you got here? Lost her. There we are. There we go. Amanda's first elk shed ever. And it's a sweet one. And we got ourselves a match. How cool is this? Oh my goodness. What a way to end the day, doing our coronavirus, uh, staying away from other people. <laughs> oh man, this is so cool. I can't wait to get a ton of pictures of this. Look at this. How awesome. Putting in the miles has paid off. Look at this. Uh, split three. Yes. Pretty fresh base. Here's Amanda's hiding here. She is pumped. It's her first one ever. Look how cool this boy is. Tell them how happy you are. I'm crying. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well we're going to get some pictures. And then I'll video her with the set. We'll pick them up. Here we go. Pick it up. We'll get the set together. There's one. Bring them over and get the other one. How cool. There's two. Look at this dude. Turn around with him. Like hold him normal and then turn. Not turn sideways. Go boy. There we go. Look at that guy. Yes. 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 Alright. We're going to get some more pictures of us with him. And then we'll get you guys back at the camper. Okay, so we're home. I just kind of wanted to show these things off a little bit. Uh, still super pumped with them. Let's see, this one here weighs a little over 7 pounds. And this one here is just a little under 7 pounds. These are just some cool antlers. These split threes are my favorite feature of them. They both have pretty big back ends too and this one here has got a giant massive uh, third you guys out west I think call them swords I'm not up on my alpine go <laughs> so but what's kind of weird to me too on these is on both of them the second is up the beam a little bit instead of being down and there's uh, no third on them which if he'd had a third it would have made him a seven by seven but 
you know, I'm not going to complain about these one bit. They both have great color, nice and dark on the back sides. Tips are all polished up. Both have just big old bases. Look at these. I mean, come on. Does it get any better than finding a match set like that? Not in my opinion, especially since I found one and Amanda found the other side. And that was her first one actually spotting on her own. So that was, that made it for me. But we are going to be heading back up again and hopefully finding some more. But, uh, you know, you never know. We might not pick up another one this year or even next year. Or might be a couple years, but we're going to try our best. Uh, we got some good spots. The bulls are starting to move around. Good things are starting to kind of green up up there. And we're going to give it a heck of a shot to try and find some more. Hope everybody's staying safe and everybody's healthy. Uh, you know, just kind of mind your manners a little bit. I'm not preaching to anybody, but, you know, wash your hands. That's all. So we're going to head back up here soon. And like I said, hopefully we'll have some more. I'm going to try and do just a little bit more footage of, you know, walking around and maybe kind of the areas that we're in. And... If we pick up some more, we'll be sure to video them because it sure is exciting picking these things up. Pennsylvania elk sheds are hard to come by. And we're pretty fortunate to be able to get up there and look for them and make it happen. So we'll see you guys soon.